Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sin City, otherwise known as Las Vegas. <laughs> Yep, so myself and Blood Diamond went over to, to Abu Dhabi with the boys, the team, in hope that we would get an opportunity to fight on either one of those cards. But unfortunately, we didn't get that chance over there. But, so we got a call to headline the Dana White Contender Series, which is it's an amazing opportunity for me because it's a chance for me to get into the UFC, and it's a big dream of mine. We were faced with many adversities, at the time here in, in the quarantine for two weeks as we were limited with time with space and training partners but we were adamant and determined to let make this happen uh, because it's a dream of mine so we were definitely going to make this happen Honestly, greatness at work. I was watching this and I'm just like, fuck. His eight, his um, his switch kick is improved from, after quarantine, he said Michael showing him something and so fucking fast. Cutting out the fat and it's already faster and I'm just like, that's just fast now, like it's, it's fuck. It's, bro, it's, it's, yeah, nah. I was just thinking about like, fuck. Sparring. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh fuck. It's okay, I'll have to get faster then. But <laughs> well, fuck, they're so fast now, man. Ridiculous. Fuck. Holy shit. That was scary. From the south side. Yeah. Looking for me real high. Old enough to go see you. I don't like you scary. My brother's lifting my spirits. I bet eh? I'm not lifting my spirits, I'm saying the truth. <laughs> so that was five rounds of greatness. Oh, yeah. Just moving around. Yeah. Feeling good good to have these two boys <laughs> and um, what we got like three more days three more days and then we war hey just learning learning new tricks as we go new things what works Ooh. with the man who fights in three days it's going all you can eat sushi so what do you say about that? Here we go! We're about to eat some sushi. Sushi! 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 Yeah, yeah. Ready? Here we go! Here we go! One at a time. Oh. What do you think, Quake? Uh, I love coming to Vegas for this exact reason. Yeah, 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 this is the only reason we come to Vegas, right, Jeff? Usually, yeah. this time we got Carlos, but we usually say we're coming to watch the fights, but it's just to come to sushi. <laughs> yeah, I saw it, it was good, but his dad that owned um, uh, that restaurant at range. Yeah. Just stay with that, don't worry. Done. Done. Cheers. Um, it's, a, it's a game that I've always wanted to learn how to play. And um, it's a very strategic game. So I thought that it would be good for me to, especially during this whole time that we'd be spending a lot in the room, um, to get my cognitive performance um, in levels up, so uh, chess I know is a very strategic game, so it's something that I've always wanted to learn. Chess and fighting come hand in hand. <laughs> 
together. No pun intended. <laughs> so um, it's it's definitely gonna help my my fight and abilities. So um, yeah, watch me win. <laughs> I feel that it's not only me that's walking into this cage, it's my higher self, it is my teammates, it is my coaching, it is my ancestry, it is a whole lot of that and everything else that comes after as well. So not only do I have my hard work that's put into this, it's my thoughts of what can possibly happen after. So uh, it's, a, it's a very big motivation for me. So when I get in there, I'm thinking purely of, of the strengths that I can from this. Yeah, yeah, it looks good, man. Um, most of it's done himself, you know, like we don't really have to do much. He's, he's got like a um, good, like, good mentality for fighting, you know, like he's got good visualization and good confidence and that sort of stuff, which is um, pretty goddamn important these days. But a pretty good self belief. He's definitely got it, and he's got skill set to match it. So, yeah, man, pretty excited. It's gonna be pretty cool. Last time I caught him, it was pretty cool. The boys, like you know, it's you can see how the game's evolved so much, and you see how New Zealand's actually caught up with the game. And to have someone like Easy, who's not only a world champion but a class act, to like to be that inspiration for the boys, it's so awesome to see. So, super proud of the guys. Carlos, I mean, like just watching him now flow. Um, I think the, the you know the sky's the limit for um, Carlos. He's got all the skills. He moves well. He's very light on his feet. He's fast. But I mean, you know, you got Brad and, and Izzy cornering him, and so as well as his teammates. You can't ask for better than that. <laughs> Listen, I'm super proud of the boys, and just to see New Zealand continue to climb that ladder um, and be at that world stage, is, it's um, proud Kiwi right here. <laughs> Picking my shots is, uh, is the key. So just learning and touching base with Izzy and, and Brad and how to, how to stay calm and collective with, um, with picking my shots. So um, try not to go too wild out in South Auckland. <laughs> But um, tight defense, feeling good though. Two days to go, I'm on weight. Uh, the goal is, I definitely want to be the, the, the world champion, uh, the light heavyweight world champion in the UFC, definitely. Uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a challenging road for sure. So I'll need to start learning more and start, start focusing more on, on, on um, my ground game and and also my, my stand-up game and just learn more of the sport so that's that's the ultimate goal for the UFC but then also so much more where I know that I could grow into um, with life um, and, and learning more about life so the, the ultimate goal is more about other things other than, than uh, being the world champion but other things that come with it. His energy, his energy is, um, he's trying to, he's trying to be, yeah, he's, try, he's trying to be alpha, but, you know, kill him with kindness, and I uh, just show them that, um, that uh, it's not about trying to be tough, you know, <laughs> this is a sweet science of sports, you know? um, we'll go in there and we'll just work, work around it and um, adapt to everything. <laughs> 